Today I have this Rock and Rocker pressure washer. It's great for many of the things you need to do around the house. This one is model HWY12P. And as you can see here are some of the specs, but you know, that's your basic stuff you'll get from a electric pressure washer. And these are really great little tools to have versus a gas pressure washer because you don't have to worry about messing with the gas and the carbs and cleaning them and trying to keep the engine running. You just plug these things in and go. So these are really cool and I wanted to check this one out. Let's go ahead and open the box and see what it comes with. All right, so here it is out of the box. It does have these really nice meaty sized wheels so you don't have to struggle with these little tiny wheels and it'll roll around with you pretty well. It comes with a couple of accessories, the little hooks and things you need to put on. It comes with four different spray type nozzles that are high pressure. So this one's zero, 15, 25, and 40. Of course, it comes with a manual and some screws to put the things on. Then it comes with this. You put your soap in this and it lets you foam spray up your vehicle or whatever it is you're, you're wanting to apply. It comes with the hose for the wand and here's the wand. Of course, it has the electric cord already attached and that's pretty much what's in the box. So now I'm gonna start putting this together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snap these wheels on. You can just put these here. You slide them up in. Then you put a screw into here to screw these on. So I'm going to put all of the wheels on and put the screws on. It's a pretty small set of screws. They're not real big, so you don't need a very large screwdriver. They are Phillips. There are six of these. To put these screws in, you just move the wheel out of the way. Slide that down into the hole and twist them in. Again, don't do them too tight. You don't want to strip it out. Just once they start getting snug, that's good enough. Repeat that for all the wheels. Now you got the wheels on, we need to attach the holes holder that goes right here in the back. And that's where the other two screws go. Once you get this hose holder on, then you can come over here and it comes with two little other clips. They just slide on. You just push that down. I'm making sure that the front of this is facing the front. This is the back. They only go on one direction. And then of course, you're gonna have the same on the other side with the wand holder. You push that on and that holds your wand. So now you have your holder for your extension cord. You have the holder on the back for your, your hose. And then of course, now you have the holder on this side for your wand. So now that the wheels are on and the different holding pieces are on, it's pretty much put together. Another thing I like about this is these wheels have locks on them. So you can just lock this into place and now the wheels don't wanna move. To put this together, again, you just take the quick connect to the end of the hose, push that in, slide it in. Now you've got your wand connected. And if you wanna do your high pressure, you put the other end of the wand on, quick connect. If you don't want to do the high pressure spray of the wand, then you can put your soap sprayer on, your foaming sprayer, twist that on, and now you're ready for spray and foam. Yeah, this is really cool. I like it. I like how this is a separate compartment and not all these little jugs and stuff that's on here. I like how this thing is nice and small, something that you can just tuck in the corner of your garage and it's not taking up a lot of room. And again, You've got all of these different size nozzles to use with this. When you get this out of the box, it's gonna have this plastic cap over this hose connector. This is just to protect it while it's being stored. You can take this off. You can keep this and put it back on if you want to, or you can just throw this away. That's the only purpose it serves. Another thing that this comes with is it's called a needle, but mainly what it's for is to clean out these nozzle openings. If you have any debris or anything that gets stuck in these nozzles, you can use this little needle and push through those nozzle heads to clean them out. So one thing I've noticed is it does not have a place on the machine to store the nozzles, nor does it have a place to store this sudsing connector here. You can store all the hoses, you can store the wand, as you can see here, the hose goes on the back, and all that's great. But you're gonna have to have a place to store these. It's going to be here and I can just put these in my toolbox or attach it with a little bag. Any of that should be fine. But it is one thing I did notice they should put on some kind of little compartment or something that lets you just store these 
and all of this with the device and not have to keep it separately. The manual is actually pretty good. When you get this manual, please read the manual. It's got a lot of helpful information and it's not your typical manual that's not translated well, let's say. This one here is, is done well. It's easily readable in English and it gets right to the point and it's not like a big thick book. I mean, it gets right to the point of what you need to do to get going. Now we just need to see how well this thing works. I'm already over the fact that it doesn't have a little place to hold this. I'm just gonna hang this little Ziploc bag above this in the garage. Another thing to note is this pressure washer has a nice long cord, so you don't need as much extension, along with a very nice long hose for the wand. All right, I got the water on. I got this thing plugged in. You want to have the water on because this has to build pressure. It's got a little electric pump in there, so you need to make sure there's water being fed into that when you turn it on. Now, when you turn it on, you're gonna hear that a little bit. Basically, it just built up the pressure to what it expects it to be, and then it turns off. It doesn't run consistently. It will turn on and off based upon the pressure when it gets built up. Of course, when you pull the handle on the wand and you start spraying the water, it's gonna run. So again, it comes with four different nozzles. You're gonna have a zero degree nozzle. This one is gonna have a straight stream, and you need to be very careful with this nozzle because these are the kind of nozzles you can etch your name in your cement if you're not careful with it. You can just, it'll just blast your cement away. So I'm gonna start with the zero degree and let you see what that looks like. These are pretty universal fittings. So what you'll find is, is when you come in here and you put this in, this is the quick connect, but this will also work, let's say if there's other attachments you buy for a pressure washer, these are pretty standard. So let's go ahead and try this zero. All right, so this is a zero. I'm not gonna get too close to the cement because I don't wanna tear it up. But as you can see, it sends out a pretty strong straight nozzle like that might have actually been knocking off some of the concrete off the top layer and again i don't really use a zero much at all i mean unless you really want to etch something i'm not really a big fan of the zero because it does do damage to even concrete but there's purposes for it and you've got the nozzle to use it so now i'm going to put a 15 in this is one of my more commonly used degree nozzles on a pressure washer, especially on the electric pressure washer. And we're gonna show you what that will do. You can get closer with it. This one is still strong enough to tear up some concrete if you get way close to it. So, you know, at least be six inches or so away but this one is really good at getting like this, you know, dirt that's been on here for years coming off of the gutters. This is something that we would get rid of typically with a pressure washer. So this is a good nozzle for things like that. Let's try the 25. And again, these are pretty simple. It's kind of like an air compressor hose if you've ever used one of those, but you just pull this sleeve back and then you push in the nozzle. So I'm gonna use one finger to pull the sleeve back and I'm gonna use my thumb to push it in and that's it. You know it's in there, try to pull it out. It's a quick connect, it's, it's really easy to use. So this is the 25 degree. Again, still pretty powerful. This little pressure washer has more than enough power to do most of the jobs around your house. This one's gonna be just a wider angle spray and it probably won't take you as long. This one would probably be, again, a good one to do something like a driveway or sidewalks. So that way you're not tearing up your concrete, but you're knocking off pretty much any of the debris or any of the dirt or anything that has settled into that concrete. So now we're gonna try the 40. So I'm gonna put the 40 degree on there and let's try this out. So as you can see, even close enough to the concrete, this will do a really good job knocking that off. But when you're washing a car, let's say you're over here, you just come back a little bit here, and as you can see, that's just barely knocking off the top layer of the dirt. This one's gonna be good enough and wide enough to where 
If you want to wash your car and you don't want to tear it up, again, we wash our RV with our other pressure washer. That's actually one of the main reasons we bought the other one that we had was to wash our RV. And you really need to be careful with stickers, things of that nature. But with the 40 degree on there, and if you step back far enough from whatever it is you're washing, you should be pretty safe with not knocking off emblems or stickers or damaging any kind of paint. All right, so now I'm going to test out the foaming spray head. And to do that, you don't use the end part of the wand. So you Again, just like you assembled it, you push it in and turn it, and the end part of this wand comes off. Then you get this soaping head or spray head or foam head, whatever you want to call it. You put it on like this, okay? So now there is a hose in here. You fill this up, and there's a little suction hose that's in here. This has some car wash soap in it, and then, of course, it's going to mix and spray with this wand, and it should foam pretty good let's see how it does so i'm just going to foam this on the concrete just to give you an idea of what the kind of foam's coming out of this now this attachment's cool i don't have an attachment like this we like i said we have another electric pressure washer it did not have this foaming attachment at the end i think this is actually really cool because we do like to foam up the cars with soap and then wipe them down before we come back and pressure wash it off. So this is gonna eliminate a lot of that where I just have to wipe it down with a whole bunch of rags and so forth to get it nice and soapy. So this is something I was gonna show you. This does not come with this pressure washer. We bought this many years ago and we use this to clean the driveway. So what I wanted to show you is this is what I meant by universal. So see the connector that's on this attachment here. It's a totally different brand attachment, but these are pretty much universal. And now it's attached on there. So now I can use this head even with this pressure washer. Let's see what it does. See that? These heads are specifically meant to wash driveways or patios. This pressure washer operates this thing fine. To be honest with you, I'd say this pressure washer operates it as good, if not better, than the other pressure washer I have. And this pressure washer that we're using right now is actually rated at a lower PSI. But this thing is working great. Now again, this attachment does not come with this pressure washer. I do recommend this attachment, but it's just one of many of the other attachments that you can get for pressure washers like this. All in all, this is a great little pressure washer. I really like how small and compact it is. To me, garage space is very important. We've got so many things packed in the garage. And this one, I put it up next to the other pressure washer I have, and it's not even half the size of that other pressure washer. So I really like this. This is definitely going to be the one staying in my garage. All right, well, if this review was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. That helps other people find the video. If you would also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, would you go ahead and subscribe? That actually helps me out a lot. And I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care.